Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. This week we are going to do a very quick review on our van as it's three years old. So this week we're going to be talking about our van as it's three years old. Can you believe that? Three, three whole years old, gosh. Remember looking at this model when it first came out and seeing the brochures and all the glossy stuff and being really excited. Our van is the Adventure 65, the Auto Trail Adventure 65. I was very fortunate enough to see one at Spinney. I was driving past and clocked this van with a pop-up roof. So excited, I spun around, drove in, took loads of pictures, sent them to you. And then we went to see it at the NEC. Anyway, fast forward a lot of times, we bought one. And this is our van. So if you've just joined our channel, you've maybe seen the Auto Trail Adventure 65 at the uh, NEC, which is on now, today, Friday the 21st of October. October. Thank you. So we should hold up a newspaper so you know we're not being hostaged for this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's Friday the 21st of October. This is our own review. We have no affiliation to Auto Trail or any of the manufacturer. It's our own van. We bought it with our own money, so we've got no affiliation to anybody. So the things you see in this review are completely true and factual based on our experience. So yeah. I that, that we should have had terms and conditions or something. Without Basically, it's our van. We bought it. We like it. So we do really like it. Um, we've got to have it yet. Without further ado, we'll start the review. Yeah, we're not going to do a full review on the van. If you want to see that, click on our previous video, which is a full review of the Adventure 65. This is more about the van at three years old and what the things we've done with it, what's happened to us, what the costs have been, any issues we've had with it, yeah. and the reliability of it. Because it's one thing to see the van and everybody wants to see the van and how it works and what storage there is, but it's different to live in. It's like when you buy your house, isn't it? You go around, you look, you buy your house, but then what's it actually like to live in it, to use it, to work with it? And what's gone wrong, what's gone right, what would you change? All those kind of things. And how has it fared over the three years? That's really important. I think for me, sort of build quality was really important when we were buying the mm -hmm. van. So I wanted to see exactly what it'd be like. So we can show you the van at three years old. We've used it, the van's done 12,000 miles just short of in terms of distance. And we've used it pretty much, well, every month, certainly every month around the summer. Yeah. A couple of months of winter, we've not used it. Uh, but we try to go every other weekend and then we use it for big long breaks as well. So our longest, I think so far, is 18 or 21, 21 days. I think it's 18 in total. Got around that. Yeah. So very quickly, first of all, what have we done to the van since we've had it? Well, we've had it serviced. The van, the van part, the Fiat parts had a service. It was due at two years old. So it had a service at that point. And also it's just had its first MOT at three years old. Pleased to say, completely passed without anything wrong with it whatsoever. Oh, thank goodness. So Who very, needs any more expense at the moment? <laughs> very happy with that. The van's had three hab checks. It's three years old, so we have one done every year. So it's just had its third hab check, habitation check. And that was done, done completed by an auto trail workshop. Is that a requirement or is it just a recommendation? It's a recommendation, um, but it's also good for safety, but also it's a requirement for your warranty. So if okay. you've got a van under warranty, like ours, you have to have it done for warranty. Okay. So you have, to have, it, you have to have hab check done. Fun fact. Yeah. So we've had that done to it. So that's what we've spent on the van. What's gone wrong? Well, very pleased to say very, very little. Touch wood has gone wrong with our van since mm. we've had it. We had in the first uh, year, we had one of the blinds at the back jam slightly. It was still open and closed. Oh, it wasn't yeah. very smooth, which sounds like a minor thing, but I wasn't sure how to fix it. So when it went in for its first hab check, uh, the workshop did it for us under warranty. It was just re repaired. I'm trying to rack my brains for anything that might have. There's three three things that I know of um, in three years. There's that one. Most recently was the rear spotlight. The rear spotlight started oh, flickering yeah. on our last trip. So again, when it went in for the hab check, that was replaced under warranty. And the only other thing it's had is the little sink magnet fell off. That oh, holds the yeah. sink up. So we were in Scotland on that trip. So we bought some super glue from the supermarket. We glued it back on and hey presto, it's as good as gold. I mean, that's pretty good going really for for three years isn't it we've racked our brains to think of anything else that's been wrong with it and that, that's literally it the van has been absolutely superb it's not missed a beat everything's worked on it as it should um the software updates for the system for example on the trimmer boiler system is just automatic from your phone it does it automatically and sends it to the sends it to the van the control unit for the my ultra trail again you can control everything from the van turns the lights on 
the power on. We we're really lazy on one of the last trips and we sat down the other end of the van and it was too it was too cold so we didn't want to move. We we're all snuggly so we turned the lights off down the bottom with the remote on the you phone. say we're too lazy to get up. It just likes a gadget. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's literally it in terms of servicing, uh, maintenance and issues with the van. So let's give you a quick look round to show you what it looks like after three years. You can see the wear and tear on it. So in the uh, cab area, you can see the seats are still uh, looking good. No wear and like tear. They, they do look look new. And considering this bit's material yeah. as well, um, you know, there's no there's no stains or marks or anything. I hope not. <laughs> Not like to eat. Not to eat on my seats. I know we have to eat outside. <laughs> <laughs> no food is consumed on the premises. Go into the front. <laughs> table. This this is this table is brilliant, isn't it? We use a table here. Probably fifty percent this one and fifty percent the one in the rear. Yeah, and it's you know it's up and down a lot. Um, Just the chair sideways first. That's it. Just have to remind her. Still working nicely. Yeah. And what I'd say is, even though this sort of, you know, where where you might think there'd be some wear on the chairs, where it uh, sort of catches as it moves around and stuff, there isn't. Excellent. Thank you. This is the rear. These are the seats as well. No issues here either. No. Nope. Oh, water under there. The Still working. All all fine. Seat belts. Yeah. All. We don't I have mean, to go into everything. I don't. You know. The cupboards belts. still work. Show us the seat. Sink. Pristine. Pristine. That's thanks to my cleaning. That's probably true. <laughs> Although, I'm sure somebody else cleaned it when you had a have check, didn't they? Oh yeah. No, not the sink. <laughs> this one. Okay. Again. Pristine. Oh. Um. We should look at the oven. <laughs> Let's see how clean the oven is. All right. <laughs> there would be okay. There's a rich, there's a rich that. monkey in the oven. That's a rich monkey. We've, we've never actually used the Never oven. been used. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. Can you put the real lights on, please? This is hilarious. Why don't you try this? <laughs> oh, she's done it. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, can you show us a cupboard, please? Excellent. Cupboard. Empty because we're not in it. Superb. All working. All catches working. All the, catches all the lights are working. working. You can see the carpet if you want. Caroline's feet. And my shoes. Everything works. What else? What other wear and tear would you have? We've pretty much done, is there? I mean, it doesn't look that different the day we got it. I think. I don't think there's anything on the van that we've managed to damage, which is touch wood. What's really impressed me is like you know when you catch your watch or something on the cupboard and there's no marks and anything. And yeah. We do catch stuff, don't you? Now and again. Yeah, well, you do, and especially because it's quite a narrow space. So I always find when we're packing, I always put stuff in a basket and carry it through. So even then, you, you know, you might catch the basket on the side. Um, but yeah, there's no the sort of the um, what would you call it? The the cupboards. The I'm not not upholstery. What's the the furniture? The furniture. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Anything else? No. Roof lining, all roof. fine, it's one of no issues. Yeah, and we I can't think show you the roof, we've got the flap down, so we don't open it, but it's pouring down outside, so we're not gonna open the roof today, I'm afraid. <laughs> Otherwise the van would be pouring, but the roof is the same, the roof yeah. is identical to the day we got it. There's no difference, this comes down, you can, you can, there's a flap to cover this up here underneath. But you can see all the straps and catches and everything on there are all perfect. And all the outside was checked, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, I think that was one of the things that we were concerned about, um, whether you sort of, the um, opening and closing of it, the repeated movement might affect the, the, the roof. Um, no, but no, perfect. all, all yeah. so far so good. We're still on the original uh, leisure battery and hand battery as well, all the control panels and everything are working too. So, literally, nothing else in the van. Oh, the bathroom, hang on. Is the bathroom clean and tidy? Can we show it? Okay, it's relatively right tidy. There you go, bathroom again. Nothing in there. We have the shower on the floor for travelling because sometimes it jumps off there when you go over a bump. So, just for safety, we have that on the floor. But again, the bathroom, no issues in there at all. It's been perfect to say, apart from the little uh, magnet thing came off this sink. I uh, would just glued it back on. Um, and that's it. That is it. Anything else? I can't think of anything else, and I can't think of anything else that we um, would need to improve it. Okay, good. Because we just love our van. Fantastic. Let's do the final summary. So, in summary, our van at three years old, what do you reckon? 
um, pretty much the same as it was at zero years old. Yeah. <laughs> we said in our last video, one of our previous videos, that we went to the NEC in February. We didn't go this year, we're going away, we can't go this year. In October, we went to February. We looked around the whole show, we came away and decided the only van we would buy would be this one again. So Yeah, we, we really, at the moment, we can't find anything else that we would want to swap this for. So Yeah, so if you're looking at Adventure 65, or if you've already got one, um, then our fan fantastic rating will be, still, after three years, five. Still five. Five. Fantastic van, we absolutely love it, and hopefully we've got lots more adventures planned. So stay tuned to our channel, if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow us. We're heading off to the Lake District very soon. Thanks for watching. See you next week's video. Bye. Bye.